Of course I can multitask. I'm multitasking right now. I'm looking after the children. I'm washing the dishes. I'm creating a to-do list for tomorrow. I am far more productive and thus better off. Who said I can't multitask? Truth be told, dear viewer, science. Science says you can't multitask. Multitasking itself is an illusion to begin with. What you're never doing is two things simultaneously. You're actually switching between two things so quick it gives the impression of simultaneousness. Many, many, many research projects have gone into multitasking from many different universities around the world. Stanford University conducted a study to show that multitasking is less productive than doing one task at a time. They showed that if people are bombarded with information from multiple sources, then they tend to have trouble paying attention, recalling information and focusing after switching tasks. Then the worst effect is, they found that the area of the brain that grades your work is affected causing you to give a higher grade than your work is actually worth, so you believe your work is great when really it's actually subpar. The problem lies in the fact that your brain splits when there's more than one thing to be done. Your prefrontal cortex, that spans both sides of the brain, is part of the brain's motivational system. When one task presents itself, both sides can work in sync to achieve the goal. However, they will work independently if more than one problem arises. As my French is frankly terrible, I will use the acronym for the Paris University, INSERM. Basically, they did an experiment with people under an fMRI scan. They found that offering a larger reward for completing one of the two tasks accurately, only one side of the prefrontal cortex actually increased its activity. It was the same for either side. Now when they were told to complete three tasks at the same time, participants normally forgot about the third one completely they made three times more errors than the ones that they were actually doing. This was narrowed down to the idea that you only actually have two prefrontal lobes so you can only concentrate on two things maximum. The University of London then jumped on the bandwagon with a study about multitasking and your IQ. It showed that people who are multitasking had the same effect as someone who was staying up all night or was high on drugs when doing their work. Then they showed it can result in an IQ drop by up to 15 points and some of the participants even lowered their IQ to that of an average 8 year old. The University of Sussex then conducted a study to show how multitasking affects the structure of your brain. Maybe it was a skill that needs practicing and then you'll get better until you are more productive and efficient. What they found is that the effects of multitasking led to a lower brain density in the anterior cingulate cortex, which is the area responsible for emotional control and empathy. This is the area that governs your EQ, basically your emotional intelligence. Now companies like to test your EQ, as people with high emotional intelligence tend to do better in life, i.e. they're more successful at work with family and friends. So if your brain density is decreasing, it makes your anterior cingulate cortex smaller and therefore perform less effectively, lowering your emotional intelligence. However, it's not all doom and gloom. There are studies that say you can be trained to do two things at the same time, a study published in Psychology Science in December 2014 was all about training the brain to multitask. The paper claimed that it was all about how you were taught in the first place and the context of the information. The example HBI used was of divers learning vocabulary underwater and then performing better at recalling them underwater than they did on land. So if you were to learn the information while multitasking, it says that you would become more accustomed to it as long as the two activities were linked. Multitasking was even brought into the battle of the sexes. According to a paper in BMC Psychology, women do perform better at multitasking than men do, but only in certain situations. The University of Glasgow came in here with the fact that if men really are slower than women at processing information, then some serious restructuring of workplaces needs to go on. However, every time there is a study, there are widely different results. A study in China said that women are better, a study in Sweden said that men are better. All this confusion can only lead to the fact that we don't actually know who is better. In the end, the only advice I can give to you is to avoid multitasking. The evidence against far outweighs the evidence for. Possible brain damage and inaccuracies doesn't sound too appealing. You are not a computer, you do not have several brains which you can divide the task between. You have the one and you need to look after it. But till next time, stay smart.